Okay, folks, this is part four of the um, roof and solar rebuild job. Yeah, it's my buddy's business. IQ, IQ Construction. There she is. And do everything. Solar, all that kind of stuff. They helped me put my solar, took it off and put it back, put the new roof on, all that good stuff. bit of everything. And here's the website. There she is. Now let's see what we get out, what they got done in the past four days. Started Monday and today is Thursday. Today is August the seventh. Got the solar attic fan in. New root new architectural single strip. Um 40 year and got the natural light 20 watt solar attic fan. I think it's 1200 cubic feet per minute. And there are the solar panels. And they're at a perfect tilt angle all year long. But here's my distance. What that looks like. Look, let's look at up close. Got plenty of airflow. It's first array, the second array. That's these tilt angle mounts. Iron Ridge XRS system. Got all new seamless gutters also put on. Gutters. I'll take it back to the front again. They're packing everything up. Let's move on to the back. There's my boys right there. Old uh, Ryan and old Brandon. Good crew. All right, let's move on. Okay, folks, back again. Uh, like I said, part four of the video. And we got the roof done, shingles, roof. Uh, all my hookups, all that stuff. I gotta work on my little off grid system next. A little small off grid system. Um, but here's what she looks like. I'll get you a little close up on it. And then up top is six 135 watt Kiosiras. And down below is. Kira Sierra, six Kira Sierra 140 waters. And those are in series, all these panels are in series parallel. The top are in 24 volt. Um, and the bottom are in threes. So those three panels is like 36 volts or 20 times, like, like 60 volts each parallel. Going in parallel then over here, those are in parallel too. They're get, those are going to my other Outback uh, Flex Max 80 charge controller. And these top array are connected to my other Flex Max 80 MPPT. And then the two panels in the front are hooked to my Midnight Kid controller. Uh, but yeah, those two, one panel's on the left, solar pole panel's on the pole, and the other solar panel's on the pole are hooked to my other FlexMax 80 and PPT. Um, and that gives us like an equal 1600, 1610 watts, or yeah, 1610 watts. 
I now have on the bottom array is now 840 watts of that. So, and I got two couple solar panels on the side back there. It's not really getting any sun right now. That's probably a total of 2,690 watts that I have for solar. Then I got 2,000 watts of wind and two 24 volt. Each one turbine is 1,000 watts and 24 volt. All right, let's go take you a, a look far away, so it looks like, farther away. All right, here we go. Okay, folks, here's another angle of the uh, solar power shop. This is my house. That's from powering my house with the solar shop. And then my big building behind that. And here she is. Get a little closer up on it. That looks a, that's what it looks like from the road. But yeah, as you can see now, it's got plenty of airflow. So air can circulate underneath and keep the panels cooler and do a little bit better job and more efficient that way so yeah I'm pretty happy with the job they did and we did together uh, I was up on the roof also getting things done and handing panels up making all the hookups and connections and all that good junk and uh, giving them some hands on so they get in the solar but yeah but uh, I'll get, get you a closer look on some of the other things we did. But here's my connection. I'm going to zoom in on that and let you see the connection inside. Right through here. Whoa. Right there is my connection, my electrical service connection. Fully, fully waterproof with the flex cap. And that's where my PV cable is going through. And a little string is right there in case I want to add anything else later on. Piece of parachute cord there. Yeah, I forgot to show you that. I'll give you a little closer up look at it. Look at it. That's why there's no, all the wires are hidden. That's what we wanted. More or less. Alright. I'll be right back. We'll show you some more stuff. Okay, y'all, this is where we got the uh, conduit coming to with the PV cable. Right through here. Do a flex cap up, up here. And it's going down, down, down. And then it goes right here into my PV connection box. Right here. There we go. I'm a night. Solar surge protector, midnight solar combiner box. There she is. Alright, take you around here. Right here, we got conduit coming in here. A flex cap underneath the other set of arrays. It's coming right up through here. The vent. And I'll take you underneath the panels. Here she is, also. That's the bottom of the conduit. It comes down. I guess it's some combiner box. Right there. And there we have it. I'll take you inside. Let you see some power production. Alright, bear with me. Inside here we got the uh, solar attic fan. I think it's going to town. Keeping everything cool. I see my attic crawl space there. I think he's doing a nice job. Oh yeah, worth its weight in gold. 
All right, we'll come back around here. Take the other side of the building. He did a heck of a job, I'm telling you. All right. Anyway, the the flex cap is one second. Okay, here's where the flex cap comes through. Right through here, y'all. Right there, and it comes through here, straight through here. That's where the PV cable comes to. That's a lower array, 840 watt array, and it comes down. And it goes to the combiner box, and it goes to this charge controller here. And as you can see, it's making 470 watts. It's cloudy outside right now. And it's at 43.4 volts. And I'll give you some more power production here later on. And here's the other array. 690 watts. Kid is making great power. About 300 watt hours a day. I don't have an amp hours. Go back to this. Yes. And uh, let's see here, it's like 80, 85 degrees outside now, but it's kind of, we're at cloud cover right now, but we are producing 1,117 watts, not too bad on cloud cover day. All right, well, anyway, I just want to give you a little update. What the system was doing. Um, jumping up there a little bit now. About 1200 watts. And it's 4 30 in the afternoon. Not too bad. Okay, y'all. This is KVSMC. And I want to thank IQ Construction for doing a great job, giving me a hand with my roof and my solar rebuild project. And I want to thank the Alt E Store, uh, Bramman and Munns, uh, for shipping all my stuff to me and giving me great advice on what to get and what not to get. And I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. Please subscribe. Without y'all, I wouldn't be making these videos. All right, y'all. Y'all, thank you. All, thank y'all for watching. I get the words out. Really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Okay. Bye bye.